All right, is this thing waterproof? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. John, where did you go? Got lots of messages. Thank you to those who reached out. Been some things going on with us, which is why we have not been online for about two months. We even took a hiatus from metal detecting. I'll get into that at the end of the video. It's not really important right now. Purpose of this video is CKG reached out and said, hey, we want to send you one of these. Uh, would you like to try it out? I said, sure, why not? I'm not gonna say no to something cool. So what is it? This is a pinpointer from CKG. Nice brand name right there. I like the blue. It's got some rubber grips, feels good in the hand. But the question is, how much is it? Where are you gonna get it? So as you can see here, I have my friends at Digging Detectors up on my screen. They are selling this. It is selling for $55 right now. So here's the disclaimer. After all my testing, I realized that CKG sent me one that does not have two sensitivity modes. If you look on the screen there, it says there's dual modes, two sensitivity settings. Mine does not have that. I don't have the little option where it says it. So either they sent me an older model and they've recently released least a newer one I have no idea so my testing is based on the one sensitivity mode because that's all there is I've read these instructions front to back 15 times nowhere in here does it say that you can switch sensitivity modes it does have three audio and vibration modes you have audio you have audio and vibration or you have just vibration we'll get into the screen and stuff on what it looks like but let's address the elephant in the room here this is a rebranded Amazon pinpointer. It's a China pinpointer. Kai Wheats makes the exact same pinpointer. As a matter of fact, it's the same manufacturer. It's the same everything. All CKG did was just brand it with their logo. This is literally the exact same pinpointer. I do not fault CKG for doing this. It costs a lot of money to R&D, to tool and die, to manufacture, to get the molding right, like Nocta's done, Garrett's done costs a lot of money it's a massive investment so i don't fault them for that lots of companies do this they rebrand and sell it as their own however my problem is this thing is normally $43.99 on Amazon. Right now it's on sale because of Black Friday for $23 or $24. Kind of a tough sell when everyone else is selling the CKG one for $55. And normally you can buy this for $45, $10 less on Amazon. It just doesn't say CKG and it's not blue. Is the blue worth the extra 10 bucks? The regular price you decide that all right quick comparison here so we got the garrett carrot on the left in the middle we obviously have the nocta pinpointer the acupoint and then we have the ckg pinpointer now you can see the uh, massive differences here this thing is massive weight wise uh, it's pretty light compared to the acupoint for sure and the garrett the garrett's actually pretty pretty beefy and pretty heavy for what it is for how small it is feels a little more hollow these feel a lot more sturdy a lot more quality dare i say it does run on a battery uh, non-rechargeable obviously so go ahead and replace your 9 volt batteries it does seem to have an o-ring here right on the bottom it has a little padding on the top as well we're going to make sure this thing is waterproof because they do say it's waterproof up to i think three meters uh, for 30 minutes so we're going to test that to see if it actually is waterproof since it's absolutely freezing right now i'm not going back in the water for a while so i'm going to test this a different way simple power button gotta hold it now one thing i don't like you have to hold this thing quite a long time right and to turn it off again you hold the power button it turns off it does have a screen which is nice but let's just compare how fast these are to turn on and off right so let's go oh, that's on there you go so you can see the difference now let's just turn it off So you can see, so there is a delay on on and off, even with the Garrett. The Garrett's, I think, even faster. That's on. Now that's on. Let's turn them off. Off. 
off. So there is quite a significant delay when turning it on and off. Is it a big deal? Not really. More of like a nitpicky thing, but I do like how quick the Nocta and the Garrett turn on and turn off very easily. So let's go into the screen really quick. Uh, there's not much options, to be honest with you. I'm not sure why they even have this, the screen. Uh, it's got way less options than the uh, Garrett does. For starters, this button here will uh, adjust your sound and vibration. So the little, the little speaker here, that's just sound. Here's sound and vibration. Here's just vibration. And that's back to just sound. And that's it, folks. That's all the settings that this thing has. So, I mean, the need for the screen, not really. Doesn't really show you or do anything. It's not like the Nocta, right? Where you have a crazy amount of options. You can go into menus, right? That That is not the case with this thing. So if you press the power button, the light will come on and off as well. The little flashlight, as you can see, it's on, and now it's off. That's it. Those are really all the options. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. All right. Is this thing waterproof? So it does float, unfortunately. So we're going to have to uh, kind of pin this thing down and put it right there down to the bottom. Just to make sure it's deep enough so it's actually going to uh, run my test properly. So we're going to leave this for 30 minutes. This is about 3 feet deep, and we're going to come back in 30 minutes and see if this thing still powers on. All right, so it's been about 29 minutes, last minute or so. So I stood here for the first couple of minutes to see if I saw any air bubbles coming out of it, which would be a bad sign. I didn't see any, so that's good. So let's pull it out, let's see if it turns on. All right, does it turn on is the question. It does. It does turn on. There you go. It has passed the water test. 30 minutes, 3 feet deep. All right, people like to see air tests. We're going to do a little bit of a controlled air test, but not in the air on a box. This tape is exactly 2 inches from side to side. We got a nice hefty gold diamond ring, and we have a silver ring. Both we found. Actually, Amy found both of these. <laughs> First, let's start with the silver. 2 inches. Let's see if the CKG pinpointer can hit it. All right, there's that silver ring. Let's go ahead and turn it on, and let's see if we can hit it at two inches. Exactly two inches it hits it. It's obviously a weak signal because it only has one little bar there. As you get closer, it should speed up. And exactly. All right, two inches is a success. Question is, will these do the same? All right, let's try the Garrett. Let's see if the Garrett can handle it two inches. Look at that, just before two inches. Now, I have to say the Garrett is set to maximum sensitivity. That's how Amy uses it. So this is no different to how she'd be using it on the beach, but it does seem to do a reasonable job right before the two inch tape mark, maybe about a half inch or so, if that. As you get closer, obviously, picks it up stronger. Okay, up next we have the Nocta AccuPoint. I have it set to six sensitivity. This is where I use it on the beach. We'll try higher, but it does become a little bit more wonky in higher settings. So let's try six. Silver ring, two inches. Doesn't hit it to two inches. But right there. Just before about an inch, maybe one and a half inches. So it does not hit it at two inches at six sensitivity, silver ring. Let's see if we increase the sensitivity. Let's go all the way to max. So level nine, this is probably gonna get a little bit wonky, but let's see how it does. So nine sensitivity, does it hit it at two inches? No, it does not. Little bit better, little bit better, but right at this line. All right, so far, Garrett's winning. CKG second. Nocta's last. All right, now we'll do the gold. Gold diamond ring. 18 carat. Let's see how it does. Start with CKG. Okay, here we go. Does it hit it at two inches? Does not. About halfway. Okay, about halfway in the tape. Say about an inch. All right, let's do the Garrett. Let's see how Garrett does. Does Garrett hit it at two inches? Nope. Hits it about halfway as well. 
Just about halfway. Maybe a hair before the CKG. All right, let's see how the Nocta AccuPoint does. Still maxed out at nine sensitivity. Let's see how it does. Still about halfway. Just about close to where the Garrett was. Just about where the Garrett was. So there you go, guys. There's my test. Gold, silver. Looks like CKG is kind of second. Garrett's first. Nocta's coming last. Oof. And just to make this even more interesting, here is a just no-name brand Amazon pinpointer. Let's see if this can tackle the silver and the gold. So let's try silver first, two inches end to end of the tapes. Let's turn it on. And let's see if this can hit it. Two inches is a no. Well, that's not bad. Just after the two inch mark, maybe an inch and three quarter. Let's try the gold now. Let's try two inches with gold. That's about the same as the rest of them. Yeah, this performed pretty much the same as the Nocta, the Garrett, and the CKG one. And just so you're aware, I think this is the one that I was just testing, the Amazon one, very similar. The cost is about the same what I originally paid for that, which is like $15. I know, those were not very scientific, but look, those tests were fun. It was really fun and interesting to see where these kind of performed. Did they perform the same? Does a $150 pinpointer match a $14 pinpointer? And I think we have kind of some answers here. Now, there are a lot more features on the other pinpointers, absolutely. But in all honesty, I don't think it matters. To be honest with you, on the beach, I don't even think you need a pinpointer. I mean, Amy likes to use one. I rarely use mine unless the item's really tiny and I'm having a hard time locating it. Other than that, I don't even pull out the pinpointer. So where have me and Amy been? So there's been a couple things going on. The, the not so important thing is just that life's been getting in the way. We've been busy, work's been busy, been getting home late, and it's just been kind of hard to to get our schedule down to, to head out there. We have gone out here and there, but it hasn't been our very uh, routine that we normally did. But the main issue is actually my back. My back's been giving me some problems. I've gone to some doctors. I got some tests coming. I don't know what the deal is. Hopefully I'll find out soon, but you know what? I decided Screw it, I'm going back out because I can't sit home anymore. Me and Amy are itching to get out there, so we've started going back out. We are hitting the beaches at least three times a week at this point, so videos will start rolling in. I'll eventually find out what's wrong with my back, but for now, the show must go on and we are back. Thank you to all the subscribers that stayed with us through this kind of hiatus. You guys all stayed subscribed and we actually gained a bunch too. If you are not subscribed and you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing. Give this video a quick like. This is the season to be out here in Florida. We are super excited. Videos are incoming. And if I don't talk to you before Thanksgiving, I wish everyone out there a happy and safe Thanksgiving.